want you. <laughs> I need a Dara. I discovered you. Dara is goodness, mercy, favor from God to me. I ask for Dara. Hello, you're welcome to this channel and to this broadcast. And we're excited to be talking with you. We're excited to share, you know, our experiences with you. Mm -hmm. And we trust that um, you will be blessed. You will be enriched. Amen. You'll be instructed. You know, for those of you who are trusting God for um, a blessing like this. And um, my name is Lawrence Oyo, and by my side is my wife. Glory. <laughs> my name is Loa Darasimi Oyo. Glory to God. Glory, glory to God. Okay, yeah. so this discourse is going to be... The title of this discourse is How, How We, we met. met. And uh, we'll, we'll break it into you know, a couple of headings yes. to help you follow mm. well, i think you should go first you know there's so a you, saying they say ladies you, first so uh you want to use first. that one no? yes 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 okay i'll go first uh i'll go first um a few years into my university education you know i heard about this supernatural move that was happening in new life from a couple of friends lovely lovely friends you know, they suggest to me about things that, you know, go on in their school, as opposed to my school, which was, which is private. So, um, they were telling me about the move of God that was happening, that was so, you know, interesting and uh, wonderful and new. So, they asked me if I knew Lawrence Oyo and his songs. I, I had no idea, but I've just, you know, heard of him. And I remembered faintly that um, we were family friends, but... We weren't close family friends, of course, you know, ministerial friends, father and mother, they're ministers, so definitely they'll mingle, <laughs> you know. So um, that was that was the first time I heard of him, and it just stuck to my mind, but I didn't think anything of it. So that was my first contact with your name. <laughs> so tell me, okay, what was my, your first contact with my, my first name? contact with the idea was I can't really say. You know, they had an exact day or year, but mm -hmm. I just faintly knew that, you know, my friends, which are uh, Dami and Joshua, had a younger sister. But well, like some of you are watching, would would uh, would agree with. She didn't seem to be okay. as visible as her brothers, mm -hmm. so I just knew that they had a sister. I'm not sure I knew what she looked like. I'm not sure I knew, you know, um, anything at all. Mm. I didn't know anything about her. But I just knew that they had a sister. And then um, that was my idea. That was, <laughs> that was your first idea. idea. <laughs> For our first contact. And now I just anything you, you that know, exactly right. was uh, when we, her, her mom, you know, came to visit you know, a lady who was staying with us at the family house who just got wedded. And um, she just came to say hello to the lady. And, and I happened to follow she her mom. She followed her mom. Hmm. And so I saw her for the first time in the house. And I still remember her reaction. <coughs> I was like, ah, wow. <laughs> 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 Ladies are not usually that tall. I have a way of you know, feeling. Like I can tell her that you know, this lady was looking straight to my eyes. 
So I didn't know when it came out, like, wow, you're tall. <laughs> I was reporting that. I said, like, wow, you're tall. <laughs> you know? I yeah, and uh, it was just fascinating. Okay, the lady, finally, the younger sister of, you know, my friends. <laughs> she was not, she didn't come in in anything, you know, prepared for to see any guests. Trust me. She was wearing, <laughs> like, yeah, wearing. Something like a something you can just start house dress simply. House dress. So it was just All you back. know sure. very interesting. I was still from my you stay you stay from your So room. she just came in like hurriedly, like mommy wanted her to come in and just greet and then she was done and then she mm. left and that was it. That was that was my Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so um at that time we were preparing for you know, youth service course, we pray for NYFC. So that morning, we were to go shopping to buy some few necessities. I had no idea that we were visiting anybody, you know, I had no idea. So, um, we got into the car. I just, I literally remember that morning, I just wore something very hurriedly, got into the car, and then we took off. On the way, mom just said, Let me branch. Let me branch away. <laughs> Let me branch. This is my friend, Ile Oyo. <laughs> I thought I didn't hear well because that was my first contact, first mm. contact, first time meeting mommy and daddy Oyo. So I felt that ah, I'm not, I'm not dressed. You know the way you dress, the way you be addressed. I'm not dressed to be addressed rightly. So <laughs> I was like, ah, God, oh, I just said I would not be around. <laughs> I didn't think of you know, I didn't think of him or his brother. I, I mm. just got <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> so when we came in, and we really didn't see anyone. I said mm. everyone had gone out. I was actually happy in my mind. Ah, how are you? Got congratulations. I was about to leave. I actually got down, you know, to also greet her even before she told me to get down. You know, mm. I actually got down to this to greet. Okay, um, how are you? Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. And then he just came out of nowhere. I said, Oh my God! I thought nobody would be around. And it happened to be nice oil. So I was very calm. I was very collected. And the first thing truly said was, Wow. They're tall, <laughs> and I said yes, I know. <laughs> so we said, "How is Dami? How is Joshua? How is everyone?" You know, just I don't think we exchanged numbers that day. We got our numbers. I don't know how we. I don't know how I got your number. I don't know how you get to that. <laughs> so we just, you know, talked very lightly, headed for NYC, and then we left. That was our first contact. You know, that was it. That was it. Yes. Yeah, so um, somebody, I believe it was uh, was him or. Probably his twin brother, I'm not sure, added me up to a WhatsApp group chat for Davidic Minstrels. So I was a participant, you know, I didn't say a word because, you know, I was just there. Then they dropped a particular song, um, May Not Be Heard, the praying version. I think that was over 20 minutes long. 18 minutes. 18, have you, eight, 18 minutes long. And I heard that, I cannot forget the night I heard, I can still remember that night. It was such a very powerful song and it was so beautiful and so charged that i just couldn't help myself i picked up my phone and i chatted him up and i said this is a very powerful weapon against the enemy i blessed him on my phone and i said god bless you and he said wow thank you for the encouragement thank you so much I think thumbs, you gave me two thumbs up or something. <laughs> two emoji <laughs> thumbs up. Oh, I don't care ever. So I just said, you're welcome. I was thumbs up in my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, you're welcome. And that was it. <laughs> no for that, no for that conversation. No, no, no for the dialogue. So, yes, I, I apparently chatted him up first. I think I chatted you Technically. I apparently did. Without expecting anything, I just blessed you. So I yes, blessed you first. She was, she was really moved. Yeah, by I was really moved. I just, I just had to bless him. Reached you know, out to I say to it was wonderful. Just yeah. encouraged. I just encouraged you, and that was it. Yeah. So, yeah. So I took note of that. I said, um, "You did." I like this encouragement. Just <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, I'm just joking. So, yeah. um, so that was part of my first contact with him. Yes, so I think that was one of the, the, the major times your person registered, mm. you know, in my, my head. Mm. And um, look at me forgetting the major thing that led me. I was on Instagram. I was wondering where you would say it. 
I was on Instagram hey and so the idea of dressing me had been, you know, just in my head somewhere. I didn't think she was, you know, gang gang. <laughs> you know, like that, you know. So people are thinking, oh, cool. I'm very carnal now. Yeah, I'm carnal. So yeah, see, I, <laughs> I didn't think she was, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't looking, thinking uh, in that direction at all, sincerely. Until one day, I was on Instagram, <laughs> and I was, you know, her picture came on my timeline. Mm. Brothers, take note. Anything can happen. <laughs> and I saw her oh, picture. Boy. I say ye. She's fine now. I still wow. remember my words. I still remember my thoughts. I was like, the girl is fine. What is wrong with me? <laughs> what have I been doing? Wow. Sincerely, that was one of the major things. I was like, no, 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 no. The earlier the better before anything happens. I was like, ah, this baby is very fine. I assume all that things are okay. <laughs> She's beautiful. I like what I'm seeing. You know, mm-hmm. check through other other pictures to be sure that this is the not same a person. mistake. <laughs> no filters. You know, I said this baby is fine now. So the thoughts registered in my heart that oh, it would be a good idea. You know, and it just kept mm. on growing in my heart. Mm-hmm. So the stage I was in, the period when we met. I just finished my university education, preparing for NYSC. I um, was at that stage where I was asking God, okay, God, what's next? What's next? What is in this place for me? Because we just found out that I was posted to Kebi State. It was a, it was a very new land. We've never been, <laughs> never been to the north before. You know, always in care and custody of my parents. So. I was like, God, what, what exactly are you doing? And before then, I attended, you know, Monzaun's retreat. And at that point, at, at that retreat, I was actually broken. I just, I felt, I felt God's hands heavy, was really heavy upon me. And um, it made me question a lot of things about my life, about what I want to do in the future. It, it just brought reality to me that from now, what's like, what is the next step for you? Do you want to keep going, you know, with the norm, how everything is going, or you want something more, you want something different? So it was at that retreat that I actually surrendered. And that retreat, the retreat was, I think it happened November, sort of December, and I went to serve January. So at that retreat, I was broken. I, I gave everything to God. I literally remember my, my journal, and I was writing my heart out to God. I you know, related with the biblical character of David, who was a man after God's own heart. So I was just so, I tried to position myself in that character and I was, you know, telling God, I'm your David, you know, I'm here, whatever you want me to do, wherever you want me to go. I didn't think it would be Kebby though, but wherever you want me to go, no problem. You know, I was, I was just at that stage where I was like, God, here I was. <laughs> So um, that was the stage I was in, spiritually. Mentally, marriage was not anywhere close to my head. It was the last thing, the last thing in my mind, like totally, like it was the last thing in my mind. It wasn't in my view at all. So um, physically speaking, yes, I was ready for it. I was getting ready for NYC. Academically, just finished university, said that already. So that was basically where I was. That was basically where I was. So where were you at that point? the stage for when we met yes. uh, so basically I, I had just come back from the US a Bible program I had and I was just going to fire on all over the nation from secondary school to campuses to churches just ministering the power of God all over the place and you know um, put the woman topic aside for like a year and once that year was over you know and i began to take it seriously because you know the more you're doing the more of what you're doing the more mm-hmm. the more busy you get and the more impact you're making it could get complicated you know finding the right person you know who will love you for the right reasons who will so I was just coming out of the relationship. I gave myself about a year 
to you know, rest, focus on God, and just shut down everything that has to do with woman. And by the time one year was over, uh, you know, my brother was already about to get married, <laughs> and I didn't have anybody in the picture. Being a twin, there's this sub to pressure, you know, you just feel like, okay, I'm going to have to marry. And it didn't seem like there was, you know, anybody in the picture. And so I started to intentionally you know, um, open my heart and I will tell you, you know, some people say they had, um, they just had the voice of gas. I said, this is the person gas goes with. <laughs> and then they fired on and so on and so forth. Well, in my own case, we had a number of people that were in our lives that, you know, I was asking God for direction on. One thing that stood out for me in that process was how um, our fear of not missing it mm -hmm. can make life difficult, especially when it comes to discernment. Mm -hmm. um, I, like many of you watching, don't want to marry wrong. You know, and that fear has been a singular reason. Mm -hmm for your probing and probing and checking and double checking until you, you know what God planned for you has moved on. Mm. So basically I was in that place where I didn't want to jump in again without being very, 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 very sure. And this time around I am going to marry the person. So there's no uh, so basically that's where I was and I was praying to God, you know, to show me of these people that are around me, who am I going to settle down with? And, you know, I began to write a list <laughs> of the relaxed names. No. Not names. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I wrote a list of, because God led me to, if I wrote a list of, of the different Mm. things that I wanted in my wife in order of priority mm. and uh, among the list was somebody that I would like physically I should emphasize that somebody <laughs> that I would look at and you know I find really attractive and um, that's one too I mean what's not number one to help those of you with very very spiritual minds <laughs> 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 but i'm not joking about that at all i was not going to play with that i really wanted to like my wife okay so they were they were wonderful people around me really wonderful ladies you know that were around me in the course of doing ministry and i was really really getting you know, confused because you can only marry one wife, and wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> one wife you marry has to be the right wife because you're going to marry her and be with her for a very very long time so that's a decision that you know you really have to take your time to make mm. that's where i was now for 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 believers i want to believe for those who were raised the way i was raised and the way she was raised when you say how we met you're talking about how we got engaged because your first contact or your first intentional statement mm. was towards marriage automatically once i'm reaching out to you and i'm constantly reaching out to you it means i want to marry you 
I'm not trying to go out with you. I'm not trying to. I know those interesting words we use, date and or if I am chatting you or you know when I'm telling you mm -hmm. I like you, is because I have plans to marry you. So on that note, um, the first thing that I had on my heart, or what led up to this list, because I had to write a list. What led up to this list was because you know we were already confused because of you know the number of people that were around us, and I wanted to make a decision and move on with the matter of marriage and upon writing that list my first item was capacity because of the kind of ministry I am running my personality and my dealings my peculiar dealings I knew that whoever I am going to settle down with has to be somebody with capacity and um, they say that the fruit does not fall far from the tree. I remember saying these words when I sat with, you know, my emails, my, my my wife's parents for the first time, because they asked me why, why they asking me, Lawrence, why they asking me. <laughs> I remember that his voice. <laughs> I said, because the fruit does not fall far from the tree you know and um, what that means is I just had reasons to believe that she has watched you know, the process of her parents I have an idea of what their process was like some of you saw it in the train so she's watched and observed the process of her parents she has watched and observed their faith she has watched and observed the kind of life a minister who is sold out to god you know is going to leave she has watched the example of her mother for you know so many years i just felt if at all i'm going to settle down with somebody the person needs to have an idea and for free this one already has an idea of what it's going to look like there's nothing surprising because of what she has seen over the many many years observing you know the faith of her parents I was one. Do you want to should we take turns? No, it's okay. Yeah. Like next one, okay. Number two, I wanted my wife to be beautiful. <laughs> I wanted a fine babe. And uh, I'm not even going to go to the history of that, but I really wanted to find her attractive. I remember telling God, it's not matter the dream I see, does not matter the word I hear. Does not matter the scripture of us I see inside the Bible. If I look at this girl, <laughs> I don't find her attractive to me. Lord, you knock it my way. <laughs> There's nobody that I just I'm not going. You know that was just I just didn't want to do that. And everybody has their own, you know. There are convictions on this matter, but this was mine. Mm -hmm. I was not going to play with it. I really wanted to find her attractive. It is it's not number one. It's not the you know most important aspect of your choice of marriage. But you see, I was coming from somewhere and I made up my mind. As far as this little marriage is concerned, it's not by force to marry. If I will settle down with somebody, she has to have capacity for the kind of person and ministry that I had. Number two, I want to find her attractive. And number three would be that I wanted someone you know, who Jesus was Lord over. Mm -hmm. And I asked her that question how many times? A couple of times. Yeah, that was. Sometimes you would even ask me, "What was my conviction on this relationship?" Blah blah blah. My question for her is, "Is Jesus Lord over your life?" And she said, "Yes, He's Lord." Well, my wife, 
<laughs> I don't have the energy for plenty, plenty. <laughs> I was convinced. I had, you know, the peace and all that. But you see, I wanted somebody over whom Jesus was Lord. And I asked that question a couple of times because, again, of where we are going. And that was another reason, again, to to look at her. Mm-hmm her roots and you know see that that example had been made also for her but apart from that i wanted to hear it from her it is jesus lord can you request anything from you is there anything you can do for jesus and the answer was always no and once we have that raw material we can we can work with any other thing we'll be fine once these things were checked for me, they were the most important things. Every other thing can be worked on. Every other thing can be worked on. No body will be perfect at the instance of meeting each other. But once mm-hmm. these things are checked, these boxes are checked for me, I was ready to go on. I was no longer afraid. So that's that. Mm. All right. So. Um, <coughs> what i wanted in my husband well number one i wanted a couple of things but i wanted someone that i would find attractive let me just start with that one because the truth is i do not have a list i'll be very honest with you you know we hear cases of ladies that are right how they want us what to look like or what they will i did not have that kind of list because i was also coming from somewhere in fact, I was coming from a place whereby you're not expected to physically. Should I go there? Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. Where you're not expected to physically, <clears throat> you know, you're attracted to your husband. We're coming from that place whereby you might hear an audible voice say, This is the man you're meant to be with. And you look at him like, Jesus, why? That's where we're coming from. If it's so, your will. if it's your will, so be it. <laughs> so, I was ready so, to, you know not be physically attracted to him i was ready to just you know take it take him as he is and then work on him to my taste as the lord will have it so that's what i was expecting you know so but i wanted a couple of things you know that were very important to me i wanted someone that was responsible you know someone that um, valued family someone that was responsible and was willing to be responsible to the family that he was willing to have so i wanted someone that valued family time valued children valued me as his wife someone that was willing also to um because definitely i know that there there are a number of things that are still in me that are waiting for manifestation if i'm going to submit to you i want to be certain that the lord has given you something that would help bring out the things that are inside of me not that i'm dependent on you but I believe the Lord has given you something that would help me. I needed a man that um, was after the heart of God, that literally had, you know, had the had the reputation of David. A man who was after God's own heart, which is a man that loved the Lord wholeheartedly. A man that Jesus was Lord over, you know, just as you said for the man that you were looking for as well. But I needed that in a man that loved the Lord. And when I mean loved the Lord, I mean was so submitted to his will that anything he says he will do that's the kind of man that i was you know really interested in having (laughs) a man that loved the lord wholeheartedly but being someone that has um been amongst lots of christians we've seen people practice religion you know practicing religious activities we've seen that a whole lot now i wanted someone that didn't just you know practice religion but loved the lord had an intimate relationship with jesus one that was not very common that was what i sought after in you know a man so aside from that i wanted someone okay i mentioned someone who i was attracted to someone who was willing to encourage you know, the gifts of god inside of me someone that loved the lord wholeheartedly okay so definitely this is after you know i was convinced that god that God is leading me to this man or that this uh, uh, that God led him to me I was so convinced that he was the one then I looked out for these signs in him and by the grace of God I thank the Holy Spirit I found them in him 
So um, yes, those, those, those were a few of the signs or few of the things I looked out for in the man that I was to marry. So. Okay. So for me, I would say um, I had come from a place where I believed I heard God, you know, and I probably did. And um, I had learned, my process was a bit different from hers. I think we were, you know, your first relationship. Mine was, you know, in our case, was a second for me. And for my first, I heard God. I got, you know, at least five signs and confirmations like some of us like to get. And it still didn't go as we would expect something God led you to. You know to go so i had i had you know um, added understandings on this subject i didn't just want to as it were be led to someone mm -hmm. and the way everybody is hearing today uh, god let me god let me god let me mm -hmm. i really really wanted to you know um, by the intelligence of scripture of course you know, discern the will of God. Mm. So if peradventure I am sensing a leading and these things are not there, I will question that leading. Mm. You know, so the the um the guidelines the Holy Ghost gave me or highlighted in my heart became, you know, um guides in my search. And if the woman does not have this I don't want to even know you know what I'm feeling, or what I'm seeing, or what I'm dreaming, yeah. and all that because all those gateways could be manipulated by your flesh, by your thoughts, and your desires. Yeah. So I, I just once I found, you know, someone who looked like the things I had written down, I could now begin to probe: Is this okay with you, Lord? Can we fire on? You know, and I was like, Go ahead. So we fired on. Right, so that's that, that's actually a very good point. One thing I also want to just quickly address is to the ladies. You know, I'm sure I've received a couple of messages of ladies telling me that um, this this fellow approached them and told them that God said they were the one, they were the ones, you know, and they were confused on what to do. That. Oh my God, God has said I'm the one for Him. What should I do? I would let me just address this because I was in that particular situation as well before I met him, whereby. Um, where quite a number of them would say god said you are the one a number of them and it's so funny because you wonder how, how can god tell four people that one person is will of god which means definitely some people are not hearing rightly probably only, not here only, only four <laughs> four people five six, i don't know some least <laughs> have told me that eight of them have approached them and said god said that. and and they'll genuinely be confused there's nothing better than hearing god for for yourself you know and being at peace with yourself and not being pressured at all it's good that you go to god and you hear him for yourself and let them like just cut off from them first and hear what he has to say because it's very possible that god is saying none of them are the one so it's just good and much preferable that you hear god for yourself that is very very important so i heard so many god said that at the point i was tired of hearing that god said i just wanted someone that i was convinced of and someone that would come to me and humbly say that they felt this leading towards me i should go and pray about it that was that that would have been better than god said you are the one i literally had someone meet me and say see you are the one no <laughs> you are not going to be the one it was embarrassing and annoying that who do you think you are to think you can just trap me down i had someone meet me like that boldly and say that to me I wasn't I was not so happy I was pissed actually that like, who do you think you are you know and as the Lord will have it he was not the one so there's nothing better you know <laughs> there's nothing better in seeking the face of God as regards your you know life partner for yourself because it's a very delicate um, mm. decision to make hallelujah amen um, I chatted her up I didn't know she had gone to Kevin State I felt she was still, you know, somewhere around. I'm not really a distance person, I should say. You know, so, so I was hoping, you know, at some point we would physically meet, see, talk, 
Mm-hmm. I'll just see if after, my heart after the first meeting point in your house. Yeah, and just see if my heart if if I would like this person. Because that was that was important to me too. And um, as we discussed, she said she was in camp. Oh, yeah. So which state? So KB state. Ha. KB long no. <laughs> I've never been to KB state before. Am I ever going to see this person? You know, and I said, okay, I will trust God and it will happen. Mm. So I told her, before I will come and then, visit you. Before then, you know, you kept chatting me up, you know, you kept um, conversing. You always, you always want to reach out, video call and all. But then I, I actually never knew that you were checking. I had no idea that you were checking, asking questions. I was mm. just, I just felt you were just being friendly. Yeah. So he just, it was after everything that you told me that you were doing that because you were checking, I you were you you're dropping see. signs, and I had no idea that you were mm. <laughs> dropping those kinds of signs. <laughs> so I remember, in, I was so sure of my decision even before telling her that I remember, you know, screenshotting our, our video call and showing it to my mom and saying, see my wife. <laughs> and she laughed and said, <laughs> she, 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 like, is she aware she's the wife? <laughs> I said, don't worry. <laughs> I've seen my wife, see fine girl. <laughs> you know, those people, like that, that's how much I had zero in. There's no go come on this matter from the word go. I married this girl, uh, so wow. I knew that somehow KB was going to work out, and I began to desire it. Lord, let something play out. I want to go to KB State to go and see this girl. So I told her. I remember she was surprised. Like, how are we going to see? I'm in KB State. I said we're going to see. I'm going sure. to see you very soon. <laughs> yeah. And so before we knew it, it was less than maybe a month from that uh-huh. conversation yeah. all of a sudden some guys in KB some ladies and guys you know, were desiring a meeting uh-huh. and then they reached out to a friend of mine and told him to come and minister now he reached he told you know his parents about it and they were not in agreement with his travel because it was KB it was quite far the main people in the west <laughs> I'm not comfortable with trips to the north. So he just told me in passing one of those days that <laughs> my dad didn't accept my travel. I was supposed to go to Kebi. I said, Kebi. <laughs> Kebi. He said, yeah, Kebi State. Is that not where my... I have not even spoken to her. I was <laughs> calling her my baby. Is that not where my baby is? Oh, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> call it the things that be not. Wow, so I don't know where. okay. <laughs> Is that not where my... <laughs> Just this. He said, ah, because we've had the conversation before. So he said, that's true. So for the first time in my ministry career, because my dad raised us to never solicit or lobby for ministrations. It doesn't matter how much of a blessing I think I am. I will never advise you to bring me. So, but that was the first time. I said, wow. It looks you like this is my blessing. opportunity. <laughs> I told him. I said, mention it to them that I wouldn't mind coming. That you mentioned it to me that you couldn't come again. And I felt, let me swipe in and just help, you know, just support, <laughs> you know. And only to find out that I was the one they wanted to bring for the administration. But they felt that I couldn't come. I would not come to KB State. I said, I would not want to come to KB State. Let's call somebody else who would not mind coming to KB State. I was like, wow, that's how my blessing would have. <laughs> <laughs> but God is faithful. He still made it happen. The summary is, I remember they were talking about how they, they need to raise flights, you know, tickets, and that they will get back to me. I said, no, the prices can keep going up. I'll pay the tickets. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm doing this for Jesus. I'll pay the ticket. <laughs> I'll pay the ticket. Whenever wow. you guys have the money, I'll pay back. But I pay the ticket. Pay the ticket. No problem. I'll I'll do that. 
<laughs> no problem. I don't usually do that. So in case you're thinking, Pastor Lawrence, can you do that? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you know, but I did that because I didn't want. I just felt this. This. This looks like it. I don't want to miss this opportunity. Mm. And, and you know, we went to KB State, and uh, I finally saw her, and I ministered on Sunday morning. Mm. And that Sunday morning, I still remember what she was wearing. She was wearing a green or blue it's top. Blue. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. I still remember what she was. What skirt were you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, what is skirt? Was it flowing skirt? A whole color. But um, black or <laughs> brown? Ash. It was blue. Green. Sky blue. <laughs> it's a green. It's blue. Sky blue skirt. Yes. Blue. They wear blue or sky blue skirt. Does that look like a normal color? I can't remember that kind of thing. Are you serious? Yes. Which sky blue skirt do you have? Ah, it's not sky blue. <laughs> 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 I'm doing like my dad right now. Right now. <laughs> so, 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 anyways. I'm not going to be lying on national TV. <laughs> this one will be there. Everything that so, will be there. Ah! Yes, it's going to be there. <laughs> wow, I still remember it right now as mm. I'm speaking. As I set my eyes on her, ah! I said, My wife. This <laughs> is my wife. <laughs> because there was just this, you know, this glow. I used to hear that when you see your wife, you, you, you have a glow. And you, know, you, you it's going to look like. Uh, and look, and I'm not necessarily saying um, that's how it is or that's how it's going to be, but I will tell you, I felt something close to that. Like as I looked at her, I was like, "Wow, you are my wife." <laughs> you know, I just said it in my heart. I have married you, man. This is the final boss stop. That was it. And then, of course, I ministered. It was powerful. The power of God was everywhere and all that. Mm. I just feel like all that was my first souls. ministration, like first yes, our yes, witness. Yes, first time. Uh, <coughs> so the next it's day, you went on for about three, three uh, days. Three days, yeah. yeah. Three days meeting, and sometimes I will be wondering, this person I came to this place for. Where is the person? Help me. I was just part of it. I helped I helped with so the welfare. And I'm like, it's sir, I am I'm 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 busy <laughs> as an executive because I was an executive, you know, drama code. So I would just call once in a while, help with the food. Is there anything you need, sir? You say no. So okay, but I say where are you going? I say ah I've given you your food, sir. What else do you want? I say, from? what exactly is your issue? <laughs> what, I, what do you say you are doing? How would I know he came because of me? Yes. <laughs> you came to minister. That was, what, that was my... I came to minister. Hey, so what's the problem? <laughs> I came to minister. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea that he was actually interested. And it was funny because I I believe, I truly believe God, um, you know, shielded that from me. Because if I had known that he was interested, I would have given you the cold shoulders, honestly. At that mm. point, I would have, I would have just, I would have, I'm not giving you attention at all. Because I've witnessed, you know, I've experienced a few of um, that in the past, you know, with people being interested and just, you know, trying. And I was quite tired of that at the point. So if I had known, I would have just not given you attention one bit. But I just felt, you know, you were being friendly. You were being jovial, and I was also happy that he was around because he felt like, and um, you it know, a brother. a brother. You were I brother's own Kai, straight up. It's bro. true because he was my brother's friend, you know, mm. and he came from Ibado, so it's just nice to see someone from my hometown. Hey, finally in Kebi State, ah, it was awesome. So I did not think, or you know, it didn't cross my mind that he was, you know, interested in me in that way. So. Yeah. So Beautiful. anyway, so we we spoke. <coughs> I remember, you know, uh, just we spoke, and I was even more convinced that this was my final bus stop. And so after that, we parted ways. We parted ways. 
for some reason, Holy Ghost has a way of <laughs> being involved with these kind of things. I, I, I was <laughs> thinking things. I was thinking she was sending me signals. I she was not me. sending any signals as far as she was concerned. <laughs> I was receiving signals. Just like, you know, people receive yeah. signals that are not being sent. He was telling me that when he was leaving, I was so sad and I wasn't happy at all that he was leaving. If you see the look on your that face. That I was sad. Oh my God, you are leaving me here. <laughs> me? I was not happy because I gave him a hard drive that, you know, he <clears throat> put a lot of um, messages on. Unfortunately, that morning that hard drive crashed, so I was sad that Kai, and you are leaving, and I don't have any message not to listen to because it was just a, it was it such was a fresh, wealth of you know, you know spiritual knowledge that I was so excited to have, and I thought I had it, but unfortunately, it crashed. So I was not happy that he was leaving, and so there was no time to get this hard drive with messages anymore. The Holy Ghost but it, to him was <laughs> he was seeing me saying, "Oh my God, my lover is leaving." Hey God. She loves don't worry. Get your wrong signal. Oh my god. Hmm. Well, we thank God. Yeah. We thank God. So, mm -hmm. and I must say, I was intending to speak up, you know, the, in Kebby. But I did not. And just tell her, but a couple of times where we were talking, I couldn't bring myself to because. Funny. That's how many times you yeah. say, okay, please come over, I'll come over, then you now, you, 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 you'll be quiet, you'll just be saying things that you've said before, and I'll be wondering, okay, so what am I doing here now? I, I did not have a, I don't know why I didn't have a The clue. summary is that I was <laughs> shy, so I couldn't bring myself to say it, like, okay, <sighs> this is it. <laughs> so I waited till I was back in Ibadan, mm -hmm. and it was exactly a week after. I remember when yeah, we helped yeah, and then I reached out again and I said I have feelings for you and now I she shall. went deaf and dumb. <laughs> oh god, wow, really? Well, actually, it I just didn't... went mute. Me. <laughs> Hello? Hello? This is not the time to be dumb. I remember you, that you said that. This, that is not the time to be quiet, ah, please. Say something. <laughs> Hello? Hope no problem. <laughs> I didn't say that kind of thing. Somebody is keeping quiet. Say something. Tell me no. Tell me yes. Tell me something. Don't just keep quiet. And now I'm wondering what have I just done? <laughs> Well, yes, when he finally proposed, I went mute because I didn't know what to say. And a um, few days preceding that time, I was already suspecting that it seems as though this brother wants to leave the brother's zone <laughs> and jump to the marriage zone. Not even. <laughs> you didn't tell them of the dream you had five years. Hey, yes, I had a dream, which I, I just didn't understand why I did not get a clue that God is saying this is the man. I had a dream. And that dream, um, <clears throat> I, I think I'm not even telling you that you must have had a dream by now. I can't remember I told you. You know, what you said was that God must have, you know, told gone me, gone ahead. Gone ahead. This, cannot be the first time this cannot be like, I can't be so shocked about yes, this. Yeah. yeah. So I had a dream while it was still in Kebi. And in that dream, I think the first night it came, I had a dream that, um, I was drawing something or I drew something, I mapped out something. So, um, he was teaching a couple, he was teaching some of us some things and he, there was a white board at his back and he was drawing something on the board and I realized he was drawing exactly what I was drawing or, or what I had drawn, but he drew the fuller version of it. Like he, there was, there were so many, um, details in what he was drawing, but mine was, it was kind of sketchy. So I said, so I called him that, oh my God, I've drawn this. I, I, I drew this a while ago. So I showed him. And then in that dream, he said, you see, you see confirmation, confirmation. You see in the dream. Then I woke up and I was like, God, what's the meaning of this? I don't understand this dream. It's as if God just shielded because it's so obvious. So I remember going to meet him that day, you know, at the hotel. I said, that I, I, I had a dream more and this and this and this happened. And he was looking at me as if maybe he was trying to say that. 
young lady, you don't know what this means. <laughs> so I was like, I don't understand this like, Jimo. Maybe I'm meant like, to mentor some of us. Like, in my heart, I was like, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> because I had no clue. Like, okay, are you supposed to teach us some things about some things? Wow. Or... <laughs> husband, husband. <laughs> Is it not clear? Husband. <laughs> <laughs> so it was after he had gone, proposed, and everything. I was like, okay, that drew my heart. Oh, I see. So it all just started making sense. So I was just, I was rather just surprised and amazed with how the Lord worked with us, you know, with our character. Because the truth is, if, if, if he had been so straightforward, I would have blocked him. I might have blocked him because I expected him to, you know, I expected some things. But it's so amazing how God worked with him. You know, he knew that. Um, he shielded some things from me for a particular time and he also made some things visible to him that might not have been visible mm. to me. It was just so amazing and beautiful. So yeah, that's basically how we met. So to my response, hmm, did I say yes the first time? Did I block his number? <laughs> did I say no? You know. And to her response, you know, and the process of hmm. the relationship I would suggest you stay tuned mm. to the next part where we'll be discussing in more detail you know some of the very interesting things that went down before marriage proper loads of lessons many 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 loads many, of lessons. many things i like to share. would like to you know share with you thank you so much thank you for staying <coughs> you. thank you for praying for us for loving us for giving we love every single one of you and we pray that love will reward you Amen. and grant you all your heart desires Amen. and grant you all your heart desires in Jesus name Amen. 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 God bless you till next time <laughs> bye bye I asked for Dara and I found you <laughs> I needed Dara I discovered you Dara is goodness, mercy, favor from God to me. I ask for God, and I found you. I needed God, I discovered. Hi everyone. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the episode of True Talk. <laughs> okay. Hmm. First contact. You wanna go first? No, you go first. I'm the head of this one. <laughs> ah, okay. You, you want to use that for? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>